Next to enter the den is a somewhat anxious former Merchant Navy officer, John Bull from Somerset. I'm quite a quiet chap. Having to do any form of sort of performance in terms of presentation, I find difficult. John left the Merchant Navy to go it alone as a product designer. But the prospect of facing the dragons has left him feeling all at sea. I have met challenges like this before, but walking into the den is something that has been approaching me with an increasing sense of terror. Hello, dragons. My name's John Bull, and today I'd like to invite you to invest £50,000 in exchange for a 20% share in my product, the Plinth tablet stand. Over the last five years, I have tried all sorts of cases and covers and stands, and I've never found one that met all of my requirements in terms of pocketability, stability, versatility, and speed. So I set out to design one which does. Here it is. I call it plinth. As you can see, it's extremely small. It's only 10 millimeters thick, and it weighs less than 50 grams. It deploys instantly into a very stable stand that you can use with any model of tablet or smartphone. It offers five positions. For example, ideal for in the kitchen, following a recipe or what have you, all the way up to a vertical position, ideal for watching movies or looking at photos. I'm having considerable success now selling plinth through e-commerce, uh, both on Amazon and through the MyPlinth website. Although my business is now moving into profit, with your help and expertise, we could go there a lot further and faster than I can on my own. So I've got some samples which you might like to have a play with. Taking a stand in the den is product designer and business one-man band John Bull. Would you like to choose a colour? He's overcome his stage fright to get through his pitch and offer up 20% of his tablet stand company for a £50,000 investment. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Will the former Merchant Navy officer's business idea sink or swim? Suited and booted Peter Jones has a sartorial query to kick things off. John, what's the tattoo? I was an officer in the Merchant Navy for eight years before embarking on my design career. And I didn't want to be in a suit. <laughs> oh, why is that? What's wrong with a suit? Uh, nothing is wrong with a suit, Peter, but Please, it's, not, but that, it's not me. I wanted you to see me as me. Um, I believe I've got a thumping good product here. My customers tell me I've got a thumping good product here. And I have had a really, really difficult last two years moving from a place where uh, I was designing something, um, which in many ways, looking back now, was the easy bit. Uh, actually trying to find a market, I have found very challenging. I can see that, but have you come here for investment or counselling? How many have you sold? About 8,000 so far. And what did you sell last month? About 1,000, I think. What does it sell for? Uh, it retails at 14.95 for the standard one. 14.95? Mm-hmm. Cost? Um, what the manufacturing cost? Yeah. What does it cost you? Uh, uh, it, that's not something I'm happy to go on television. Really? But I thought you're here for an investment. Yes, be very happy to discuss that. But it's that's a commercially. I think that's a commercially sensitive. Well, I, I might. I might well say I'm out before we discuss it. Yeah. So how am I supposed to know if, it, if it's profitable and? Um, the margin. I, I can. I can tell you the margins that I'm making. If that's helpful. Okay. Gross. Gross margin. Four pounds. What sales price do you need to sell it at? Yeah. To get a four pound gross margin. Fourteen ninety five is the is the retail VAT. is the is the retail price including VAT. Right. So take twenty percent off that. Yeah. So that brings it down to twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Yeah. What price do you sell to the distributor at? About six pounds fifty. And you make four pounds. Yeah. So your cost price for a product is two pound fifty. It's it's in that area. Yeah. 
Wasn't that difficult, John, was it? No, it's not that, er no, no, granted. Guarded answers from the entrepreneur lead to a tense early exchange with the Dragons over his reluctance to divulge his margins. Now Sarah Willingham wants to get to the bottom of John's moderate online sales. As a consumer, if I'm going in and I'm Googling or I want to find best tablet stand, mm -hmm. I assume you don't even feature. Uh, I'm either on page one or at the top of page two of Google. I'm flabbergasted mm. by that. Mm. You see, you're selling a thousand units per month. Yeah. But How many of those I mean, have I... come through those searches? Uh, very, very few. But when somebody goes into Google, you come up on the first page. Yeah. That doesn't, it doesn't stack up. The problem is there are a lot of stands. Yes. And um, trying to make your product yes. stand out against the rest of those yes. is going to be really, really, really tough. Which is why I'm here, because th this is what you guys are good at. And, and, I, and I am be, clearly not. <laughs> no, I completely agree with you, but I'm a business person, yes. not a magician. Doubts over whether the plinth can hold its own in a crowded marketplace are proving difficult to shake off. The Dragons may have conjured up some lucrative business deals in their time, but will Nick Jenkins offer up the money and the marketing magic that John needs? The product looks fine, but my problem is that I like investing in in people, I like investing yes. in people and helping them go on their journey to become great entrepreneurs. And I think you're a great designer. I think the packaging and everything is absolutely fine, but I just don't feel that that you're going to be able to take my advice and then run with it in six months or a year's time, and then I can leave you to get on with it. I, I don't be, feel I'd be creating a business that I could walk away from um, fairly soon. And so I'm afraid for that reason, I'm out. Nick Jenkins calls time on the tablet stand and becomes the first dragon to leave the negotiations. And it appears that Sarah Willingham has made up her mind. Honestly, I think it's going to be really difficult because there are so many tablet stands and it's very, very difficult to stand out. Yeah. If I'm being completely honest, I think that you would need a lot of time. I really do. Mm. So for those reasons, it's not an investment opportunity for me, I'm afraid. So okay. I'm out, but good luck. All right, Sarah, thank you. Another dragon overboard, as the ex-merchant Navy man's business proposition also fails to win over Sarah Willingham. Which way will Tuka Suleiman go? You are a talented designer. Thank you. The good thing that you said was that you're now into profit. Yeah. We have had several um, problems with production uh, and we've had machinery breakdowns and that type of thing. Then I had stock, uh, but I was finding it very difficult to sell them. Oh, really? John, there's a grave. You're now two foot in the grave. <laughs> I mean, you're digging your grave. Why? Well, you're looking for an investment. Yeah. But all you've given me is just the things that have gone wrong. I'm not going to invest today. I'm out. OK. Thank you, Tuka. John, I think this is a really nicely made product. Yeah. I love your packaging. Yeah. I love the whole piece. Yeah. I still don't think you're going to sell a lot of them. It's not going to be as big as you think it's going to be. And for an investor, the opportunity, I don't think, is going to be big enough. Okay. So I'm really sorry, John. But I, I won't be investing. All right, Deborah. I, I'm out. That's OK. Thank you. John's last hope in the den is tech giant Peter Jones. Is he ready to throw the entrepreneur a lifeline? Can I just say, I see a lot of these products, and I think the product is exceptional. 
I have not you. seen something as well designed with the intricacies that you've got and the level of design that's gone into that. I don't think I've seen many things as good. Thank you. But most people with iPads or with tablets, they buy covers or a cover accessory. And typically, those covers are made well enough to give you a stand, mm -hmm. as, yes. you, as you know. Yes. So I don't think you're going to sell a lot of them. And it's not going to be a volume enough for an investor to make any money on it. OK. OK. It's not for me, John. I'm going to say that I'm out. OK, thank you. Praise for the product, but in the end, the tablet stand business just didn't stack up for the dragons. John leaves the den with nothing. Great product, small potential. Uh, to me, it's a highly investable product. I think it's a pity that they didn't run with that. But an entrepreneur gets right back up, so I'm having a good go at it.